Two separate shootings at two different troubled apartment complexes, both just in a matter of hours from each other in Columbus. Tonight, Crime Tracker 10 continues to follow the reoccurring violence at both Wedgwood Apartments in the Hilltop and South Park in the Franklinton neighborhood. And today, 10 TV's Lacey Crisp asking the mayor of Columbus what city leaders are doing to make sure those neighbors stay safe. She's live tonight from City Hall with the latest. Lacey. Well, Columbus Mayor Andrew Genther says this city has been working with both ownership groups on things like increasing security, private duty, and adding lighting. But he says he needs the community's help on this. It's an all too familiar scene. Crime scene tapes surround several areas of the Wedgwood apartment complex early Tuesday morning. It's one of those places that we've continued to make investments, as you know, with the city attorney uh, working with the owners and the operators there, special duty, uh, uh, shot spotter, uh, having uh, lighting and other things, cameras that are all part of that comprehensive approach. According to Columbus Police, they responded to a shot spotter alert around 6 this morning. They found a 29 year old man shot multiple times. He is expected to survive. And Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther explains the city has added lighting. The complex owners have added private security and fencing, but he says they need help. We know the community needs to step up and help us too. We know there's a very small number of folks in that complex and other complexes around the city that are perpetuating committing a disproportionate amount of violence. Hours before, Columbus police responded to South Park Apartments. Police say a teen accidentally shot himself. This comes days after Terrell Shute is accused of driving a stolen car through the complex and hitting and killing a four year old boy. That's unacceptable. And, you know, I am I am angry. I'm frustrated. Uh, I'm not just the mayor. I'm a dad. Uh, and I can't imagine the pain that family is going through right now because of the reckless and dangerous acts of, a, of an individual. Shute was given a $250,000 bond, which Ginther says is a step in the right direction. You don't think it should have been more for some I, I think it should have been more. I think, I, think, I think it should be more. But what we've seen, uh, I think that is a step in the right direction. And CPD has not made any arrests from the shooting this morning. Reporting live, Lacey Chris, 10TV News.